So hello, welcome to, uh, to the Like to Be workshop, which is all about setting up your own school virtual career fair on the Like, the like to Be platform. So my name is, is Anthony. Um, I'm the, the founder of, of Like to Be. Uh, and I originally came up with the idea of Like to Be um, nearly a decade ago um, to help connect my uh, fieldwork and research and expeditions uh, with uh, schools so that uh, schools could access me um, from anywhere in the world and could ask me about my uh, my work in the in the polar regions so i i'm a polar adventurer uh, by background and a science communicator and um, i love visiting schools but there's often not enough time when I am back in the UK to um, to visit all of the schools that ask me to come in and to give a talk. So I originally came up with the idea of like to be to um, to invite other polar professionals and scientists so that um, collectively we could communicate our passion um, to schools. So when I skied to the South Pole in 2014, um, the, the project was to highlight uh, 24 polar scientists that were supporting the project in their career story and their career journey um, in polar research. So we did the world's, pretty much the world's most remote, uh, live, online, virtual career fair back in 2014. Um, and in actual fact, Tim Peake, um, I'm sure many of you were following Tim uh, when he was up on the space station. And of course, he was using Twitter to, to communicate about how do you become an astronaut uh, from space. So this idea of connecting online is nothing new. Um, some of you may have used Skype Classroom for, for many years, uh, potentially. So um, we find ourselves in a position now where like to be has evolved uh, to help support you create your own virtual career fairs so that you can have a more regular uh, point of contact with employers within your network uh, and that's what like to be is all about it's a networking platform specifically aims at, um, at connecting educators students and young people with employers and the world of work so if i can do that from antarctica then you can also set up your own uh, online career show. No excuses. So let's take a little bit of a, a look into how that works. So I'm just going to share my uh, my screen uh, with you, and then we can we can go from there. So first of all, you're probably um, uh, signing in to a workshop that we're delivering for the west of. Um, the West of England's uh, in, uh, career inspiration uh, show. So you've already probably created an educator's profile, but if you haven't and you're viewing this for for the first time, or it's been shared and you're and you're viewing it, then the first thing to do would be to actually to register to the to the network. So you have to create a profile to become uh, a member of our community, um, so we can uh, see. Uh, who you are and um, and from there you then get a couple of options so if you become a member and register and select that you're an educator then you will be able to log in and connect to uh, the platform so um, um, Nicola is uh, one of our one of our uh, educators who's on the platform as an example uh, she's a an assistant principal at Dartmouth Academy she's created her own profile and given a, a little bit of a, a you know a, a blurb about herself and from here from this page you'll then get asked would you like to create an organization so you say yeah I want to get my organization you know my uh, my school my my college my uh, my university registered so click on yes create a school and so Nicola has created Dartmouth Academy and in many ways this becomes your virtual career hub um, so we have literally hundreds of employers now on the platform um, if you start following those employers 
um, then they all want to connect with with young people and promote their opportunities and their and their brand. Um, so you can select who you wish to follow, and in doing so, they're then uh, in your network. If there's employers on here that are more local to you that you haven't yet uh, 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 connected with online, then because they can't visit your school at the moment or whatever it may be, then you could invite them to start following your virtual career hub and become part of that, that network. You can also invite your parents and of course the students to start following your page as well. So if you've got a, a Twitter feed, it's very similar to that, but specifically aimed at, of course, kind of like sharing career knowledge um, um, with your with your with your with your network. So from here, you would be able to post regular updates on your timeline to that following. You'd be able to, in the newsfeed, get the latest updates from people and uh, employers that you're following. You'll also be able to communicate with your with your students if you wish via our filtered forum. Um, so there's no direct messaging or emailing um, within the platform. It's all via the filtered forum for safeguarding uh, um, um, purposes. You'll also be able to share resources, so useful career-related information with your with your students, and you'd also be able to create your own events and workshops. So if you were to click on events and workshops, then this is where you get to do that. So you get to create a physical event um, or your own online event. So um, hopefully when things go back to normal, um, then I see like to be being a, a blended approach to physical events where you can have uh, just a legacy of connectivity after the event's taken place. Um, which is very, very cool. So here's an example of a, a previous career event that I put together. So here you go, this is, this is my profile, I'll show you that in a minute. But if you want to connect with a polar explorer and um, then start following me, I can be your first person in your network and your students would be able to ask questions to me and I can respond back via, via, via my forum. So a more regular point of contact. So here we go. Let's have a look at this career career um, uh, fair that we put together. Now this event was put together in um, in June uh, 2020. So right in the middle of lockdown, um, we had 20 speakers available. So you go through a series of setup screens that will ask you to upload your own images, images and logos. So it's completely branded to your uh, to your school, college, or university. Um, you have your own timeline that you can post up your, your regular updates. You can um, uh, invite employers to become your exhibitors. So literally, we had 14 exhibitors here. Um, so well-known um, employers like Rolls-Royce um, being one of, the, one of the biggest, but then we had some smaller employers so BT, higher stakes, small, small employer. Um, in fact, like a little uh, tech startup, really interesting. You know, um, CGI, you may have heard of, GE. So I've asked those employers to become exhibitors, um, which is dead easy to do just by following them and they follow you back and you can invite them to, to be at your show. So the more shows they're at, the better for them really. Um, then their speakers. This is where you can um, upload uh, speaker videos and all of the speakers and all of the employers have their own profiles as well. So you can actually then ask a question. So, hey, there's, let's check out, here's my, my video about me and my story as founder of like to be So there's my talk, students can watch that. And then they can go, actually, I'd really like to ask a question to Anthony, or I'd like to go and check out that employer's profile and, and learn a little bit more about BT, RNLI, GE, whoever it might be. 
and those questions then get posted on the forum so the employer receives a notification and then they can respond back um, where you get you know a notification back again so we have literally in our youtube channel we have currently um some over 180 uh videos and career stories these you literally just um kind of copy uh the link and then you would literally add a speaker um and then you would add in your vimeo or your youtube url um, so these don't have to be videos that are in our library, but of course you get access to all of those anyway. Um, but you might also have videos from other people within your network. And you literally just then add a speaker, invite them to join the platform so they can answer questions. And you've just built your speaker panel. Via the forum, again, this is where the, the Q&A can take place uh, during, during the event and after the event as well. Um, and you can also upload op, uh, resources and you can also upload uh, opportunities as well. So out of those employers, you might have a whole series uh, who are offering, it might be, uh, you know, virtual work experiences. It might be volunteering opportunities or it might actually be part time or full time positions or apprenticeships as well. So you can you can very quickly kind of add those in by just literally creating a new job. Um, or, or an opportunity. So that is um, that's the example of how uh, how a virtual career fair works um, and how you can put it together. Instead of, we've heard of uh, some career advisors and leaders who have said that to put together a physical event has taken, or could take up to say six months. I'm gonna just stop sharing there. Um, whereas at the moment we've had people putting together events within just a couple of weeks. So we can supply you with email templates, we can supply you with a list of already, employers that are already on our platform. All of those videos, and of course, a designated member of our team that will help you out. And we can also do some further training and development uh, workshops as well. So it's very easy nowadays, isn't it, to jump on a uh, an online call and to um, and to arrange that meeting at a time of your convenience. So the world has changed. Um, no longer big offices. Welcome to my office. Um, you know, all of our team are working remotely. Um, when that world does go back to normal, then again, I see this virtual world um, actually working in partnership with physical events so that, um, again, we can hit all of our uh, Gatsby benchmarks. Um, we can have meaningful online engagement that's safe, um, that, you know, provides more regular uh, reg regular connectivity so it doesn't matter if you are a school in a remote uh, location um, that you may not have the network of employers around you or well, suddenly you can you can create that and you can have that level of of engagement so and just using the example if you want to connect with a with a polar uh, polar explorer and polar uh, polar researcher then you know feel free to connect with me as well and hear my story because it's all about being able to share our story with our next generation so they can have informal career um, uh, kind of advice uh, ask questions and learn from uh, learn from uh, learn from us all so that's everything really. I hope you've enjoyed that little workshop. Um, if you have any questions, then um, please don't hesitate to ask and we'll just have a, a Q&A session next. So thank you everyone. Thanks ever so much.